Hi guys. Everybody's been doing their uh, Timu hauls, so I thought I'd do mine. I got my order in today. And all this stuff, I paid less than $30 for it, or about $30. But uh, this was stuff that I absolutely needed. Uh, first off, I got this little, what it is, is if you strip out a, uh, a screw, you can use these. To drill the strip screw out and pull it right out and uh, I was going to change the locks and the doorknob on my back door for a new key and the screws had stripped so I had to get these to be able to get it out of there then I bought some uh, drill bit Phillips and flat I got those because all the ones I got I guess were really cheap because as soon as you tried to pull a screw with it, they just strip the heads of them. My sister has so many grandkids and stuff staying at her house. I bought this for her because I see so many videos on people choking and babies choking. But they have a mouthpiece for adult and then they have the mouthpiece mouth piece for children and I thought this would be fantastic for her to put in her car you just hook this to this like this and this goes over the baby's face and you push this and the air comes out here and then when you draw it back the air sucks from here and pulls the whatever it is out of the baby's throat so I thought that would be great for her to have to put in her car in case she needed it for the kids. Everybody's always wondering why one corner of their packages are always messed up when they get them. You have to remember that these have to go through customs. So customs opens them to peek inside to make sure it's not like drugs or anything like that. And then you'll see how they just clob everything back together and put it back on there Ooh, boxes aren't doing very well I bought these circle dies to do some projects with and I was looking for the ones that just had the straight cut circles almost every one that they had had the little um, look like thread marks in them or little design and I didn't want that and then I found this cute little mountain lion on a looks like a log or something brushes that has the uh, pad thing to it where you just put your die on there and roll over it and it knocks out all of the uh, knocks out all the little pieces and stuff and then uh, on this one you push this side and it's got like the little scraper on it or you push this side and it's got the little poke out tool but that thing's sharp and when I first started buying from them I thought it was going to be like the China crap that you always get but actually it has been really good stuff so far and I bought these acrylic paint markers. I was looking for just white, but apparently you can't get just white through, not through Timo anyway. Timo. Now guys, this is not stuff that they sent me to show. This is stuff I paid for myself. But anyway, I bought white and black. I bought black for when I do some watercolors like flowers and stuff. I got something to outline it. Uh, I bought white so I have a, a pigment to put like in their eyes and stuff like that where I need little white dots. And these you can mark on anything. They'll work on rocks, metal, paper, clothing, anything. And I got some uh, washi tape. There was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10 rows, different sizes. Exactly, ooh, I'm trying to keep them from falling out, what the tapes look like. And then I got another uh, crazy die cut to do some more cards like this. Uh, this is a Gates card. Once you cut it, you just take a pair of scissors and cut it right down the middle so the Gates will open or close. I wanted to give those a try. And I bought this uh, um, Geico for doing men's cards. I thought it was really cute. I love the Geico. And then a, uh, what's this thing called? Uh, Briar, Braille, Briar, the rolly thing. I didn't have one of those and they were cheap enough so I grabbed one of those. Oh, and then I really like this one for some reason. This is a die cut. And I just thought it was kind of neat. And then I got some uh, 3D embossing folders. These were really cheap. These were on sale. They were trying to get rid of them. I think these were like 98 cents a piece. They were either 98 or uh, 79 cents a piece. I don't remember. And then I bought some... Uh, there's a bear, um, a wolf, um, I guess that's an owl, but I thought that would be good to help make men's cards. I don't know how well you can see these. Not very with that. You know, and I didn't realize it till after I bought these, that I have the rubber stamps in the same set. But it's different kinds of trees. And with the trees, you get the die cuts that go with it. And then here's another set of gates. 98 cents. And then I bought a stencil that looked like uh, wood because I didn't, you can't see it on that, because I didn't have one. Oh, this is the die cut for that, uh, the bear and the, the wolf. This is the die cut for that. And another 3D embossing folder. These stamps, and I mostly got these for the, the deer and the branch. Because Lord knows I got plenty of trees and stuff now. But... That's mainly what I bought these stamps for. I bought some of the larger blending brushes and I needed something smaller to get into like small cracks and stuff so I ordered one small one and I think this was like uh, see my, it might have been a dollar sixty nine maybe it might not have been that small and uh See, here's the other ones I got. They had them on sale five for something. Four. Oh, there's four for two dollars. And see how large those are and how small these are. These, I thought these were really pretty. They're um, birds. I'm sorry, guys. I am really trying to get these where you can see them. But I thought those were just beautiful. Figured I could stamp with those and then paint them in with uh, alcohol pens. Alright guys, I guess that's it. Um, I will leave a link to the, the main Timu uh, cover. So... If you want to go look, go have a look. You know, I'm not going to push it. I'm not going to. Everything I have bought from them, I, you know, I've been buying from them for over a year now. And there was one piece, and it was a fan, like a Chinese fan, die cut. No matter what I did to that thing or tried, everything would get stuck in there. You couldn't get it out without tearing the paper so I threw it in the trash. 
But other than that, I have had no problems with anything else that I've gotten from them. It is, the stuff is fantastic. And uh, I can't wait to give a bunch of this stuff a try. Guys, thank you very much for sticking with me. And I am not being paid by Timu to do this. I don't do the commercial thing for them or anything else. This is out of my pocket buying stuff. And this is just stuff that I needed. All right. Thank you guys for coming by and thank you for sitting and listening to me. Have a good day.